reverse a linked list between index m to n. We are indexing from 1, so index 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. If you want to reverse between index 3 and 6, in the end we are going to return 1, 2, 60, 50, 40, 30, and 7, right? The reversing m and n is mn inclusive. How shall we go about it? We can reverse the node one by one. For example, we reverse 40 to 30. You will have. Then we pluck out 50 and insert between 2 and 40. Right? We pluck out 50 and insert into here, so it becomes this. Then from here, we pluck out 60 and insert between 2 and 50 to become our final result. To achieve this, there are a couple of things we need to know. First thing is the starting node that we need to reverse. This is a starting node that we need to reverse. Let's call it the previous node pre and let's call it cur. And the next node, let's call it next. How do we go from here to here? We see 30 is pointed to 50, so our cur should point to the next of next, right? So curse next is next next. So this arrow is gone. What else? 40 should point to 30. So next should point to, well, should we point to cur or shall we point to pre next? We don't know yet, so let's just reserve the option. Next next is either cur or pre next. We don't know yet. So 40 point here, this arrow is gone. Then 2 should point to 40, right? So pre should point to next. Pre point to next. I'm using capital next as the node. So pre point to next. This is gone. And of course, next is always the next of current. We have successfully go from the first link list to the second link list, right? 1 to 2 to 40, 2 30 to 50. Okay, so let's look at the second link list. Where's pre? Pre is still here. Where's current? Current is here. Where's next? Next is here, right? So current on next equals to next on next. This is gone. Next dot next, next dot next, we should point to 40, right? So what is 40? 40 is pre dot next. Okay, so we know current is wrong. So current is wrong. We should do next dot next equal to pre dot next. 50 should point to 40. This arrow is gone. Then pre dot next equals to next. Pre dot next equal to next, right? This arrow is gone. So 1, 2, 250, right? 240, 230, 260. Looks like it works. So when we reach here, this is still pre. What is our current? This is still our current. The next is always the current's next, right? Same thing. Current dot next equals the next dot next. Current next equals next next. So this arrow is gone. Next dot next equals to pre dot next. So this is pre dot next. So you draw an arrow here. So this is gone. Then pre dot next equals the next. Pre dot next equals the next, right? So this is gone. So 1 to 2 to 60, 250, 240 to 30 to 7. And we do it for three times because 3 is n minus m. So when we are here, this is pre, this is current. You often see people use a node called dummy. That's because in this case, the pre is 2, right? But what if we want to reverse 
what if our m is 1? So what is pre? This is when the previous node, it doesn't exist. To handle these kind of cases, we often set a dummy. The value doesn't matter, so this guy is called dummy. So we always make sure that there is a pre node available. So if our m is 1, the previous will be the same as dummy. If our m is 3, the previous will be here. So we should advance dummy 1, 2, 2 times, right? So we want to advance m minus 1 times. Now let us do the code. So the first thing is create a dummy. So dummy is, well, the next of the dummy is the head, right? Then we create a pre. So pre will start off with at as dummy, and we advance pre for m minus one times. So m minus one times, you advance pre. Let us check. What is pre? Oh. So pre is 1, that's correct, right? Because m is 2, so the previous is 1. OK, so then we start reversing. But before that, the current will be pre dot next, right? So how many times we reverse is n minus 1 times. So n minus 1, sorry, n, mi n minus m times. Now next is cur dot next. Cur dot next is next dot next. Next dot next is pre dot next. Pre dot next is next. By the way, these four lines of code are exactly the same as what I wrote earlier in the whiteboard. Then in the end, we return dummy dot next. Looks like it works. Let's test with some wacky cases. Okay, let's submit. So there we go.